Everybody, today we're talking about cars. That's right. Get excited. Cars are coming to Rust Console Edition. That's right. For the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And I'm Jade Monkey. Very exciting. Okay, so cars are coming. They haven't announced it officially, but we have enough evidence here to really show that it's all but a foregone conclusion, right? We know they're actively working on it. And honestly, there's so many indicators that have happened recently, some that have been right under our noses, and some other stuff, some intel that we've gotten from people that are nice enough to show us some glitch screens that have shown that they've been working on this for well over a year now. So yes, this is very exciting to see. So let me show you how all of this ties in. And uh, yeah, you guys should be getting excited for this. I think Rust Console Edition is really starting to hit its stride. I think once we get those custom servers and they have a good cadence for getting us those updates, I think we're going to be in a fantastic place. I, honestly, I think the custom servers are going to help alleviate a lot of that pressure. I think a lot of you guys would agree with that. A lot of people are waiting to play the game until that comes out. So I get it. All right, so the horse update has just come out, and it has a lot of tie-ins to vehicles 100%. So these bad boys came in. They've added transportation, but these guys also use ring road system. Let me show you what this looks like here. I've shown you this before. Um, horses do go faster on flat land. Cars are no different, but this ring road system also works with modular vehicles. So it's a huge tie-in for that. Also, the fact that these guys can go fast. If you get the thoroughbred and then you have get the uh, fancy boy horseshoes, uh, these guys can go even even faster. I think it's like almost 61 kilometers per hour. And it's a great test to see how this actively is being used in the wild, right? Like for the different platforms, like how stable is it? Because uh, cars can go quite fast. They go almost twice the speed of a horse. Um, on the high end, it's like 120, 140 kilometers on like a flat uh, road. But still, uh, it's just really good to see all of those different systems in place. But also, uh, to tie this all in. If you play the game now, you can notice some major changes. Notably, over at the satellite dish, you can notice that it's elevated, but it also specifically has a ramp and a parking area now that was specifically designed on the PC side for modular vehicles is already in the game for us currently. We've seen other monuments get road tie-ins very heavily, also specifically for modular vehicles, things like Sewer Branch. I kind of outlined the blue area there for you to kind of show you how those uh, road systems have tied in. And the train yard. The train yard actually got quite a big overhaul. And if uh, you notice, there's also another uh, old tip of the hat for something even bigger coming for the train yard. Uh, I don't know, trains? So uh, I also have a video on that. I'm not going to cover that here, so I'll go ahead and link that bad boy now in the upper right-hand corner Deloop, if you want to go check that bad boy out. All right, so yes, we have all these different tie-ins here. The horses have been just a massive indicator because it brought performance for us, stability, but also giving us that little taste of transportation, and I really think it's tipping us towards uh, ground vehicles for sure. After seeing all of these different changes, that's such a huge thing, but also check this out. We had a user called Hustle World nice enough to share us a glitch screen about a year ago that really started to show, um, if, as we look at it now, um, really not only what was coming in the future uh, with, that we've already seen, but things that are on the horizon for us. So we can see things like plant genetics there, but we can also see very specifically it says armored passenger vehicle. So we're like, whoa, that's huge, right? And obviously, there's a lot of different things that could happen during the development. Things slow down. Uh, there's there's blockers, and then they have to you know clear that kind of stuff. But we've seen huge performance increase, terrain changes, ring road system, um, speed uh, vehicles, so things like horses. And even when we had the glitch, um, it, I think it's worth noting there was a glitch where we could stack those fancy horseshoes on top of the horse, so you actually went way faster than you was supposed to, and the game was stable. So I know that was a glitch, but it kind of gave us an indicator that we got pretty close to the speeds of like an average vehicle in most cases. And so it's like, huh, you know, I think that's quite possible. And uh, so since we've seen this glitch screen here and other things come to fruition and we're like, OK, that's a strong, strong likelihood that it's happening. But then we also got the old double eleven survey, basically a menu of things that they prototyped or things that they know they can accomplish. And they want to prioritize those things. And lo and behold, what is on there? Modular vehicles. I really do think this is coming relatively soon. I want to say it's going to be in 2024. Obviously, it can happen at any time. Uh, they've been known to kind of sneak some things out. But really, I think the year is going to be finished out with custom servers and also a quality of life patch, maybe like a small thing like maybe gambling and stuff. But uh, again, if you're uh, super excited for the custom servers, I already have a video on that. I'll go ahead and link that bad boy now in the upper right-hand corner Doodloop, if you want to go check that out. So yeah, it's pretty much what a foregone conclusion that this is happening. 
So uh, some of the things you want to be looking out for when this does happen is we will be getting a junkyard, and obviously that's going to be tied into the road system as well. And you're like, okay, that's cool and all, but like, what does that do for us? Lots of things. Uh, it has a lift, which you need to uh, do any of the changes to the modular vehicle for sure. It's already powered, which is nice. So if you're solo, you can go here. But more to the point, especially if you're solo and you've got like a Zerg and maybe you gank their vehicle, you can go here and use this crane system and throw it in the recycler and actually get scrap, metal, and high quality and wood out of there. So it's a great place to like go to, like a point of interest in general, but it's a great place to just go scrap cars. You can even take the husk of vehicles that spawn all around the map. There might be one out here somewhere. Um, they spawn all up and down the road. You can take those in, fix those up, and then actually drop those off. There's one. You can drop those off into that recycle and actually get scrap for those things. So it's quite interesting to see how all of this stuff ties in. I think it's going to be a boon to productivity for people that are solos and small groups for sure. Um, just for the sheer fact that you have transportation. So let me go ahead and break this down just a bit further. So yes, modular vehicles, it's in the name. You can uh, change them up any way you want to. You can have it quite open. You can stick a lock on there. You can make a different container for looting if you want to. But you can also make it super beefy. So imagine only people that have the code for your vehicle can actually get inside. So imagine if you had this armored vehicle. Then you've got a lock system on the back here. Now you're able to traverse to the outpost and back in a lot safer fashion. Now, is it invincible? No. Can you flip it over? Absolutely. But it's still, it gives you a lot better options instead of this open air horse that you'd be using to go back and forth. Don't get me wrong. We love the horse. Love the horse. But uh, these just give you more options, especially if you're like a small group or a solo. Because I know it's rough out there with all these Zergs out there just clapping your cheeks nonstop. These are just a few of the configurations that you can do with the modular system. And even check this out. So think of each of these as like a section. It's either one block or it's two blocks together. And the chassis sizes are two, three, and I want to say four total. Hopefully that uh, helicopter doesn't come over here and trash the set. But um, over here, this is also worth noting too, I think I said this in the last video, but the camper system is essentially a mobile base. Let me just show you how absolutely silly this is. Like, get excited for this. That's a barbecue, 100%. That is a loot storage box. And up here, and these little compartments are also loot containers. So like, they're essentially lockers. And what I'm sitting on, I can actually click that and make that my bed. So imagine coupling this up with the armored section, a faster uh, engine system, and now you've got a mobile tanky base with a lock on the side. Like, get out of here, right? Like, imagine that for just farming. Imagine having a mobile spawn point. So like, if you get clapped while you're out here jackhammering, oh, what? oh no, you die. You spawn on your bed, right? Then you just grab your better kit, boop, boop, boop. And then you run out there and just start clapping cheeks, right? Like, it's so good. You can use it for raiding. You can use it for exploration. It's got so many different options. Like I said, it's in the name, modular vehicles. You can build whatever vehicle you would like to see. Um, these are like little things you can actually stand on it. it, it when it moves, you go with it. Um, it's fantastic, dude. Like, these things are, uh, are going to be the best thing ever. So I'm really excited to see that it's all but been announced, so they might as well just announce it, right? So um, I, really, I really do think this is coming in 2024. I really do. There's just so many different things that have shown that they've done major progress for this. After seeing this glitch screen, the survey, our different uh, monuments that have had major changes to it, I was like, okay, these are all pretty much the prelude before uh, modular vehicles come for sure. Because we played on PC, so we absolutely positively know. So yeah, very, very exciting. And uh, if you're out there and you're like, hey, uh, what's, uh, what's coming next after that? Are minis even a thing? I've already done a video on that, so go ahead and check that out. It should already be up on the end screen now. And hopefully we'll see you in the next live stream slash video.